So, um, I found a few recipes, old fashioned recipes that I'm trying to adapt into a no count style. Um, and I remember having something similar as a kid and both those ideas with um, a love of no count are coming together. So what's in the dish? Okay, so it's two Warburton's Thins broken up into little chunks. Uh, look, they're all soft now. A banana, lemon zest, teaspoon of vanilla essence, uh, half a teaspoon of mixed spice, grace of nutmeg, lemon zest, uh, chopped banana, it's only a small one, and about half of a good mugful of uh, skim milk, which was hot, not boiling, just hot. So um, that's been standing a while now, about 20 minutes. Okay, and that's just to break the bread down. I'm gonna go over it with my spoon. And I've just whisked up an egg and this is going into it next. So I want it fairly smooth. I don't want um, like a batter, I just want it all mushed in. Chunker, if you wanted to, but well, I'm not going to. Okay, so I've whisked up an egg in here. I'm just going to, oops, sorry, um, start putting the bread mix in. Okay, and then we'll whisk it together. And I've fried lighter greased my tin, and I'm going to put some of the apple butter that I made the other day in the bottom. So you might guess we're making some sort of a, a steam pudding. Now, I might be crying at the end of this because it might be a disaster. Or I might be cheering and can't wait to eat it. Isn't that exciting? I love that side of it. It's wow. <laughs> Why am I on a bite? Okay. So I'm going to give it all. There goes both. So I'm going to give it a good whisk. And then we'll move on to the next phase. So I've just added half a teaspoon of poppy seeds. So it's going to be a banana, lemon and poppy seed, um, hopefully sort of steamed bread breakfast pudding. Now the nice thing about this, if it works, it could go in a savoury direction too. The base ingredients are the same, but with the sweetness and the vanilla and just flavour and add things as you wish. So. I reckon that's ready now. I'm just going to pour that into my grease pudding dish. And then I'm going to make up some kind of a bamboo. Back to you in a second. So it's in the dish. I've uh, put five grams of almonds on one smart point. And the hot water there. I could do the slightly higher sided uh, bath, but I haven't got one. So that's getting in. And I need to cover it. <laughs> I'm not very sure how to do it, so I'm going to go Google it and um, then pop it into the oven. The oven's on at 190 and I'm going to check it after 30 minutes. So this was sort of um, a very unprepared <laughs> experiment, so I've just used an elastic band. I don't know if it's tight enough and that's going in now. Um, I think at the end I may take the um, paper off and just see if it needs browning or not. And I've forgotten to put my um, apple butter at the base of the dish, which is the whole purpose, inspiring me to do this to make some sort of um, um, a steam pudding with a sauce. But never mind, uh, there it is. I'm going to heat up some of the apple sauce and serve it on the side. So let's hope in 20 minutes' time this works out. <laughs> Fingers crossed for me. So, uh, because I forgot to put the. Um, apple sauce in the base of my pudding dish. I've uh, got some of the apple butter I made the day which is frozen in portions and I've just defrosted it in here in a pan with a splash of lemon juice, a bit of sweetener and some uh, frozen blackberries. So that's going to be poured over the uh, pudding when it comes out. Uh, <laughs> that's my son sneezing there. <laughs> Okay, so it's just come out of the oven and it smells fantastic. Oh my god, it looks awesome. So I did test it um, 10 minutes ago and it looked cooked and I did, did the prick test and it came out clean. So then because it's quite blonde, I took the, um, 
the uh, paper off and I've browned it for another 5-10 minutes on a slightly high heat, 200. So I'm going to have a go dishing that up and then popping over the yummy blackberry and apple sauce. So as you can see, it did stick. Maybe I should have put um, something other than fry light in because fry light hasn't worked very well. But anyway, um, I've managed to turn it over. It has broken a bit at the bottom, but it is lovely, really spongy. So I'm just going to um, put over the sauce like so. Ooh, one second. Pour it over. Wow. Woohoo, look at that. Whoa. Uh, doesn't that look pretty spectacular? So, my mouth is genuinely watering. <laughs> I'm going to tuck in. Might uh, serve a bit for my son too.